Hey everybody, we're here with Segway of Ontario. We're just outside the distillery district right now and we're going to put our three kick scooters to the test. Now this is a speed test and although there is advertised speeds for each of these e-scooters, we thought numbers are just numbers. How about we show you? Our start line will be at these green pylons right here, finishing off at the red pylons over here. Each of the pylons marks a 10 meter segment. In total, a 50 meter course. First up, we have the Ninebot E25A with three different riding modes, Eco, Drive, and Sport. Pretty self-explanatory, Sport is the fastest of the three modes, Eco is the slowest but the most battery friendly. So this is where you're gonna get the most amount of range. Finally crossing the finish line is the Eco mode. Let's take a look now at GoPro footage from our fastest run on sport mode. Just before the finish line, you can see we hit our top speed of the run, 24 kilometers an hour. Now let's reset for our next kick scooter. Okay, next up we have the Ninebot Max. The Ninebot Max also features three different riding modes, Eco, Drive, and Sport. The Max, though, boasts a little bit more speed than the E25A. As you can see, as each of these times come in, a little bit faster than the E25A model. Now let's take a look at GoPro footage from our fastest run. And right here before the finish line, we hit our top speed, which is 30 kilometers an hour. This is an experiment, but we are having a little bit of fun as well. All right, now we're on to the E-Move Cruiser. Also three different speed settings. These speed modes though are split up into gears. So we have three different gears on the E-Move Cruiser. Gear one, two, and three. Three being the fastest, but as you can see here, this is a tight race. Gears two and three come within a tenth of a second of each other. Let's take a look at the GoPro footage now. Right here, you can see we reach our top speed on this run of 35 kilometers an hour. And now just for fun, let's stack up each of the fastest runs of all three kick scooters against each other. Now it's time for our summary. On the left column, you can see the advertised speed for each of these kick scooters. The middle column is what we tested it at over a 50 meter segment. Now, one of the variables of our experiment is the length of our course. If we had a longer course, we would have been able to accelerate longer and reach those advertised top speeds on the left there. Another variable to factor in here is rider kickoff. Each of these kick scooters required us to physically kick off to get that kinetic energy going. Some of our kickoffs were a bit slower than others, which factored into some of those times there. If we were to run this experiment again, we would run a longer course and we would find a way to consistently kick off the same every single time. This is probably most clearly reflected in the E-Move run, where gear three had a very slow start and not enough track length to make up that difference. Well, there you have it. We hope you enjoyed our very first experiment of this kind and we're hoping to do some more. So drop a comment in the comment box below and let us know what you want to see next. The E-Move Cruiser is the clear cut winner for the speed test, but there's more to a kick scooter than just speed. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe and share with your friends. For all of us here at Segway of Ontario, thanks so much for watching. We hope you have a very safe holiday. See you in the new year.